Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to do class 10 on nutrition lesson 3. So let's get started. So this is the part 2 of class 10 on nutrition lesson 3. If you haven't watched the first part yet, check it out over here or in the description box. Today we continue from page number 24 till the end of this chapter. So here we have a few expressions with the word travai. Konton dhavwa dhu or on travai which means to be happy of having a work. Sherse dhu on travai to search for work. Doni dhu travai a kelkia to give work to someone. Le travai temporaire or le travai amiton which means part time job or temporary work. Le travai on équipe which means a work done in group, group work. Le travail de nuit is like your night shift. Le travail intellectuel, which is intellectual work. Le travail scolaire, which is related to your school, related to education. Le travail manuel is your manual work. Next, we read au chômage. Chômage means unemployment. So Pierre says, Ça fait un an que Jeanne est en chômage. It's been a year since Jeanne is in unemployment. Is unemployed. Oui, mais de temps en temps, il fait de l'enseignement. Uh, so Dennis says yes, but time to time he does temporary work. C'est vrai, il faut qu'il soit embauché à plein temps. Demande lui d'aller s'inscrire sur le site internet de pôleemploi.fr. So Pierre says it's true, but uh, he should uh, be hired as a full time job. He should do some full time job and ask him to register himself on the site polompula.fr this is also a question that can come so it is a site where you register yourself if you are unemployed c'est ce qu'il fait et il parcourt aussi les zones classées so he says that's what he is doing that's what he does and he also browses for classified ads son cv est bon il ne doit pas y avoir de problème his cv is good so he should not have any problems soyons optimistes let's be optimistic next is your uh, example of a cv you don't need to write a cv in your exam all that can come is uh, the parts of a cv like uh, the name the address for mass is your education expression Experience, professional, your professional experience, long parlay the languages you speak. Now the chapter is done. Let's do the questions. First one is we have to fill in with uh, the pronoun relative ki, ka, u, and do. We have learned ki, ka, u in class 9th and do we just learned. First question is Ali shares you in maison. Il y a une grand petit do set maison. So Ali is searching for a house. There is a big swimming pool in the house. So, set maison is being repeated. Here, maison is a place. So, we use pronoun où. Ali cherche une maison où il y a une grande piscine. Ali is searching for a house where there is a big swimming pool. Pauline a acheté une jupe. La taille de cette jupe est bonne. So, Pauline is searching for a skirt. The fitting of this skirt is good. So, the we have. So, we use pronoun don. Pauline a acheté une jupe dont la taille est bon. So Pauline searched for a skirt whose fitting was good. Next one, je vous montre les photos. Je vous ai déjà parlé de ces photos. So I'm going to show you the photos. I've already talked to you about these photos. So again we use dont because we have the. So je, je vous montre les photos dont je vous ai déjà parlé. Sorry, this the say photo should not be there because we have already replaced it with don. It's still here only the answer. Fourth one, Nargis a pris des photos en course. Elle montre ses photos à ses amis. Nargis took these photos in course and she's showing these photos to her friends. So here, say photo is being repeated and it's an object. So we use pronoun que. Nargis a pris des photos en course. Quel monstre a ses amis, which she is showing to her friends. Fifth one, il nous a parlé d'un travail. Ce travail est très facile. He talked to us about a work. This work is very easy. So here, ce travail is being repeated and it is a subject. So we use qui. So il nous a parlé d'un travail qui est très facile. He talked to us about a work, which is very easy. Next question is, again, pronoun relative. Pauline raconte l'histoire d'un vieux film. 
dash ella ubli lino so now till now we were doing questions in which we had two sentences we could pick out whether the repeated word is an object is a subject or we have the so we could easily replace but in exams this is the way they come just with a blank so you need to identify so pauline raconte l'histoire d'un film vieux d'un vieux film dont ella ubli lino whose name she forgot so here you see pauline raconte l'histoire d'un vieux film Elle a oublié le nom de ce film. So we have the. So it's the. It's not given in the question, but you need to understand it and you know analyze it yourself that it should be prono dom because if you break it into two sentences, we will have the. C'est le héros du film dash elle aime beaucoup. Qu'elle aime beaucoup prono que because c'est le héros du film. Elle aime beaucoup le héros du film. So here we have the object. So que. C'est lui dash a bien joué dans ce film. C'est lui qui a bien joué dans ce film. It's him, the actor who played well in this film. So you just uh, need to see how it will be when we have two sentences. So this will come with practice only. There is no shortcut to this. Elle a vu ce film dans son village où elle était née. She watched this film in the village in which she was born. So that was for the second question. Third question is pronoun relative composé. Voilà ma grand-mère pour laquelle j'ai une grande affection. Here is my mother for whom I have a big affection. C'est sa maison. Passons à la pièce dans laquelle je travaille pendant mon enfance. Coming to the room in which I worked during my childhood. Voici ma petite chaise sur laquelle je m'essaye. Uh, so this is the small chair on which I used to sit. Et mon baladeur avec lequel je me promenais. And my walkman with which I used to go for a walk. Moving on to the fourth question. We have to rearrange these words into proper sentences. There is nothing much to explain over here. And these sentences are mostly taken from the lesson itself. So you would know the meaning also. So I'm just moving on to question number five. First part is quelles sont les différentes parties d'un CV. So as I told you earlier that you won't be asked to write a CV, but just like these questions, what are the different parts of a CV? So the answer would be les différentes parties d'un CV sont le nom, l'adresse, les formations, l'expérience professionnelle et le long parler. Second question qui est Céline Dion? We have been learning this from I don't know which class. Elle est une chanteuse québécoise. Third question, as I told you, it's a frequently asked question. Nomme quelques objets que l'on trouve dans un bureau. Name some objects that we find in an office. On trouve une agrafeuse, des trombones et des blocs notes dans un bureau. You can write any you want. Fourth question, quelle profession aimes-tu? Which profession do you like? J'aime la profession de and what de or the apostrophe and whichever profession you like. Finally, the last question, à quel âge commence-t-on à chercher un travail? At what age do you start searching for a job? So, on a cherché, un, cherché un travail à l'âge de 18 ans, at 18 years. As always, I'll make a separate video for the letter. That was all for today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.